Wow, two blinding lights. Okay, this is a great facility, I gotta say. Uh, I'm just wondering if I can read up here. I have to. Okay. Um, but I'm gonna put one down at a time. Um, I uh, actually, these are both new poems that I've written, and they're a little different, actually. Uh, one of them is not autobiographical, and one of them is. Uh, you might get tired of me telling that, but um, I like to emphasize that poetry is not autobiographical necessarily. Uh, this one is just some shit I made up. Uh, um, um, imagining that I knew nothing about rock music, which is actually, I live rock music, and some really weird rock music too. Um, and if, as if I had a 16-year-old daughter, which I do not, uh, who was just like me when I was 16 except female. It's called A Cloud of Doubt. My lovely Katie's missing. In our care, she left a scowling imp with poorly dyed cropped hair. Kay, who's in a band and has a pimp. Looking down, Kay hisses of a song, extends a blood red tape. Sure, Kate, I say, not strong. Fearing I'll hear her recorded rape, First, the distortion bells through a grinder. Then comes the screeching, Kate. What did I do to blind her to lovely Bach, Chopin? When she was eight, she played piano. Silence, my ears ringing. Wake up, Dad, Katie is growling. Faking, I say, great singing. Whatever, Dad. She swipes her black hair, scowling. Drifting, more tense. When I first saw that swipe, our Katy Bear was four and pushing at the door, grumbling as if the wood could hear her gripe. Earth to Dad, Christ, why don't you ever hear? Me here? What about you? I hear my own words spew. Let's drop the eye roll and that tough girl sneer. I lose again. We fight like household cats, each knowing the routine and yet still playing mean. Until she screamed and ran. I think, well, that's just brilliant, Dad. She hates you now more than ever. Deep in myself, I cry. Katie, just please don't die. My hugs are merely webs for her to sever. I go to her, a cloud of doubt. Kay stares stomps out. And this second one, it's very autobiographical because my dad just turned 70 recently. And uh, I'm 42. And so thus the title 70 and 42 kind of reminded me of Tool's song 46 and 2. You know, so I don't know. Um, anyway, 70 and 42. Father, you're turning 70, highlights my 42. I'm wandering through memories. I've learned to brood from you. As a young child, I listened to your complicated speech, vowing that each day I grew, I'd learn new words and reach a plateau where I'd earn the right to speak with such as you. Perhaps you'd string a kite with me and we'd renew whatever bond that we both knew was fragile at its heart. I finally reached that plateau too at 18 when my art with weaving words produced a poem you deemed a thing of beauty. For once I truly felt at home as I had done my duty. But looking back, I wish that you'd accepted me for crying with flailing tiny feet unshoed, a baby merely lying, waiting for my dad, for you, to hold me close, a prize. But something's changed in you now, too. 
you look with kinder eyes on Julia, my challenged daughter, who's not a thing like you. No matter, yesterday you taught her how to ride your shoulders. Two tiny hands held strong. She played, retrieving her fallen shoe. I heard her laughter, unafraid. Through her, I share with you at 70 and 42. Thank you.